Hello, Snake Yukon of Gamer Station here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial for all of you new to the RPG Maker engines. Now, this is one I know what Auto Run event is. It's an event that automatically runs when you either start the game, go to a map, or after a certain event if you use switches, which you probably don't know about right now. So what you do is you create an event like I just did, go down to Trigger, and press on the drop-down menu and go to Auto Run. So right now, I'm going to create an event so that we have something to watch to see if the auto run event is actually working and ending the right way and all of that fun other stuff that might just go wrong. So right now, I've just created a text for one of the characters. Granted, it's not the best text out there, but, you know, we don't have a lot of time for this, so we can only do really stupid, cheesy text. We don't have... Pages of pages of text we can go through right now. So I've created two texts. I am creating a battle. So right now we have text, text, battle. So remember that. We have three things that's supposed to happen. Surely nothing else is going to happen. Surely there's not going to be no problems, right? Surely it's not just going to repeat itself or we're all going to die. Well, you have to wait and see what happens. So we have the first text. Let's fight. Then we have the second text. I'll kill you, fool. Then we have battle. So we're already on our third thing that's supposed to be going on. So that means after we get through with this, that it's going to be over, right? Well, we got to find out. Okay, I love it up. I got it. But what? What is this? It's repeating itself. It's not supposed to be doing this. It ended. Why is it doing this? Okay, so we got to do something else. It's not all that hard. So we have... Two ways of fixing this problem. One works for only VX and XP, which is what I'm going to tell you right now. The other way works for all the RPG Maker engines. So what you gotta do is go to Control Self Switch. It's on the first page, and click on the self switch you want to activate. So let's just go with A because it's the first one. It's a lot easier. So then you also click on New Event Page after you finish that, and make sure the trigger is set to Action Button. As long as it's not Auto Run or Parallel, you should be fine. And then click on the box for self-switch. Make sure your self-switch is set on that you selected a moment ago. And now we're going to test it. So while we're waiting, I'm going to ask any of you out there who have actually done this before and finished it. I'm going to ask you, on your first time, did you screw up too? Did you need help? Did you need to look around or were you just that smart? Okay, so our battle just finished and I level up again. So, we, as we can see right now, the battle finished and I can move around. The event isn't there. It's hallelujah. But the thing is, like I said, this only works on VX and possibly XP. I'm not quite sure on that. So, don't quote me. So, this is what you got to do if you have one of those odor engines. You go and press on control switches and you put in a switch for whatever thing you want for each event that you have for auto run. I put first battle over. And make sure it's on, just in case something's set up for it to be off. And it's very similar to the self-switch, where you create a new event page, you go over to conditions and click on switch, and select your switch. And, of course, make sure your trigger is set to anything but auto-run or parallel. So, let's start and make sure that works, because that's what being a game maker is all about. you got to keep testing your game over and over, make sure everything works. So, while we're going through this, i got to ask the rest of you. How is your day? Was it fine? How's the weather? It's been kind of stormy and rainy down here. Okay, so the battle's over. And yay! The battle is over! The vent's working! And yay! I can move! So, right now, I'm going to create something a little bit more complex that goes on the switches part. That, like I said, I'm going to tell you about switches in another tutorial later. Or maybe some other person from Gamer Station. Whichever person gets dibs on it first. So, I'm going to create a new event. It's already set to auto run, and I'm going to have a female ask me, Will you marry me? Question mark. And let's take a guess what my answer will be. I'm going to write it out and let you read it. If you can't read it, I'll tell you later. So, as we can see, we set up for auto run. We have it set right now so that whenever the first battle is over, that this will automatically take place. So, have self-switch, which I forgot to put up, by the way. So, we have it set so that at the very end of the auto-run event, 
it automatically will start the self switch. So let's test this out and see if it works. So while we're going through this, I have a list of things I gotta say because I have bosses at Gamer Station and they forced me to say this. You should subscribe to us. You should rate us. You should comment on us. You should give us brownies and cookies. You should love us. Like I said, they forced me. So as you see, our second auto run event has started. Will you marry me? Um, no. And it's over. I'm not going to move around. So hopefully this helps you. It should. If not, you can tell me. But if it did, please leave a comment to let me know that I helped you because I like knowing.